Hey guys, it's Leah and welcome back to my channel. So I love 2019 because we're going to start off fresh and that also means that we have a whole new year of movies to look forward to. So today's video is going to be um, my most anticipated movies of 2019. You guys are more than welcome to join along in the comments and say some of your favorite and most anticipated films of this year and what they're going to be. Uh, as usual, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe down below for more videos and let's get started. So I feel like everyone's expecting me to say it, so I'm just going to get it out, like get it off my chest right away. Obviously, Avengers Endgame is one of going to be one of the highlights of the summer, actually, um, releasing in May. So it's super exciting. I feel like we're so close. And I also feel like I say that a lot um, with films, but maybe it's just time is going by super fast. Next up, obviously, I am excited uh, and anticipating Captain Marvel. Not only does that come out this year, but it's going to be really interesting to see what they do with Carol Danvers and how it's going to fit into... Endgame ultimately. Uh, and then while I'm talking about it, I know it's kind of a weird parallel, but Shazam also comes out. And for those of you that are a little confused, Shazam is actually Captain Marvel, but DC. It is a long story. Uh, comment down below if you want me to make a kind of video explaining that. I'm sure a lot of you already know, but a lot of people in my personal life end up asking me uh, to explain what the heck it means that Shazam's actually Captain Marvel, and so technically there's two Captain Marvel films. Anyway, regardless, it should be interesting to see Shazam as well. A little bit of comedic relief for the DC Universe. You know, Sandberg's going to be the director. So we shall see. Uh, hopefully it's not another letdown. I say that about every DC film, but I will just keep trying until they get it right. Obviously, 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 the next cliche that you guys are expecting me to say is episode 9, obviously Star Wars. I am kind of freaking out about it. I cannot believe it's coming up already. It seems like just this past month that I saw The Last Jedi, even though it was a year ago. We're in for a lot of surprises. I'm going to be interested to see Princess Leia is actually going to have a bigger role than we would assume. Uh, they're going to use a, a lot of unseen footage that they have with Carrie Fisher, and they're really teasing us with that. So hopefully it is done tactfully and tastefully, and not in a weird, uh, strange, they just won't let it go type of thing. Um, because obviously we never want to see Leia's role uh, be overused. So that should be very interesting. Also this year, we're going to have Spider-Man Far From Home, the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel. Uh, I loved Spider-Man Homecoming. I think at first I was a little upset when... You know, before I saw the film, before it came out, I was like, okay, this is going to be a little strange. It's going to be another new Spider-Man, essentially. But that all changed once I saw it, and I realized that they were really taking it back to the comics and taking it back to a young Peter Parker, which was really enjoyable to watch. So I kind of hope that Shazam actually takes some notes uh, from Spider-Man Homecoming to kind of get that same... Um, you know, kind of young adult feel, but still fun and takes you back to when you were younger and reading those comics. Uh, another really fun one coming up this year uh, that I actually reacted not too long ago to the trailer release was Pikachu, the detective Pokemon, Detective Pikachu. Detective Pikachu? I think that's what it is. Detective Pikachu film with Ryan Reynolds voicing Pikachu, which should be very funny. It looks so good. So that should be really fun. The trailer looked amazing. Mr. Mime was totally creepy, but you know, he is kind of creepy anyway. Uh, so I'm excited for that one. Something that should be interesting this year, we're kind of moving into the honorable mentions section of my most anticipated because these are ones that could either be a hit or a miss or they're just somewhere in between. Not too sure. Of course, we're going to have that Joker film coming out, the Joaquin Phoenix Joker film that is. Uh, so that should be pretty interesting. I'm dare I say a little excited to see what they do with it. I'm not sure yet. I don't want to get my hopes up, but that's definitely an honorable mention. Also in the honorable mentions list is the live action Aladdin film. Still waiting on another trailer for that. The little teaser was pretty cute. Uh, 
kind of excited to see where they take that. It's going to be a pretty interesting Disney film. Obviously, we have the Dumbo one, but I, you know, I'm excited to see it. But at the same time, I just, just didn't make it. Next up on my honorable mentions is going to be Dark Phoenix. And if you guys didn't know, they're doing a remake of the American remake of The Grudge. Uh, so I that could either be a hit or miss as well and not too sure yet still too far away to really make too many harsh decisions on it and then last but not least not even I have one more after this but they're going to be doing an Adams family film which you know same same with uh, the grudge and same with it it could it could just go horribly wrong <laughs> like you you don't even know like they could take something that's such a classic and just destroy it or they could make it better for a new generation you never know and last but not least on my list if you guys haven't heard me talk about it already i feel like i mentioned it in some fandom fridays but it has been so long since I've done one of those. I'm really slacking. I'm sorry. Um, but next up on the list is the Masters of the Universe film, which if they ruin this for me, I will be so upset. Uh, if you guys are new subscribers, you don't realize I am a huge Masters of the Universe. I love He-Man. Huge fan. Absolutely the best. I've been meaning to make some videos on Masters of the Universe ever since I started YouTube, but I just didn't really know if that if there was like an audience for it um but yeah they're gonna be coming out with that so you know you know i'll be reviewing it the very next day after i see it but that is actually going to conclude my most anticipated films of 2019 and obviously my honorable mentions which are the iffy ones make sure you guys subscribe down below for more videos and yeah that's gonna be it i'm wishing all of you a very happy 2019 and yeah let's let's get it bye guys see you next time